Hey everyone, it's Michael. I'm back again. Uh, this is episode 23 of What's in the Bag. And as I teased last episode, um, while I was on vacation, I went to Phoenix to see my friend. He took me to a couple of really cool uh, used uh, DVD spots. And um, I found a lot of things that I n wouldn't normally have bought. Um, who am I kidding? I would have bought them, but um, being on vacation, I probably wouldn't have bought them for uh, fear of not being able to get them home because uh, my suitcase was packed pretty tight, but I, I figured out a way and I made it happen and I got some really cool gift sets that um, are like pretty sweet. Um, one of them I hadn't seen before, one of them I had seen once, and another one I've actually been looking at, looking for, for uh, almost, what, 13 years now I've been looking for it and I finally found it. I'm so excited. But um, uh, these are actually all DVD sets, um, no Blu-ray sets, but these are all, I mean, they're all, they're all older stuff. So uh, let's get started. Uh, the first thing we're going to start out with is the 15th anniversary Reservoir Dogs. Boom. As you can see, it's in a metal pack to look like a gas can. Uh, it's pretty cool. If you, uh, you know, you pull, pull this, pull this top off, and inside is the uh, DVD pack. It's actually in a matchbook. Let's see on the uh, back side. Boom. Yeah, it's matchbook. And when you open it up, it looks like a pack of matches. Um, I already have the uh, Blu-ray version of the 15th anniversary um, set. Um, and also, if you look at it, sorry, I'm flipping around. If you look at the uh, packaging, it says um, Uncle Bob's Pancake House. On the back, it says uh, Home of the Big Kahuna Burger. Actually, a Big Kahuna Burger sounds really good, actually, right now. But uh, I know that was really neat packaging. I saw this, and it was only like, I think I, think I paid like $2.99 for it. It was pretty pretty cheap. So I mean, it's, it's pretty pretty cool, cool, pretty cool buy. Um, so, so, I mean, even though I already have the Blu-ray version, the exact same thing with all the same features, it's still it's pretty neat. Uh, this next thing I got... For $7.99, it is the Spider-Man Limited Edition DVD Collector's Gift Set. Oh. And this, if I remember correctly, came out in 2002. And it still has the back package thing on it. Um, this was supposed to come with the two disc widescreen special edition of the movie it also came with Stan Lee's Mutants, Marvels or Mutant, Mutants, Monsters and Marvels DVD uh, which is basically just a big giant interview with uh, Stan Lee hosted by Kevin Smith it's got a collectible reprint of Amazing Fantasy number 15 comic book which was the first appearance of Spider-Man it has a uh, stenotype film cell uh, from the movie and it's also got a limited edition offset lithograph reproduction by John Romita Sr. and John Romita Jr. which are both Spider-Man uh, artists. And once I opened this up and looked at it, I made sure that all the main parts were in there, but once I opened it up, it was kind of a cluster in there. Uh, when you open it up you look and it, you look to see that it does have the uh, Stan Lee uh, interview. It's got uh, two complete features, one called Creating Spider-Man, another one called Here Comes the Heroes. Uh, I'm really looking forward to watching this because uh, Kevin Smith is awesome in itself and um, I, I'd love to um, uh, see this interview with uh, Stanley. Well, as I said before, the uh, 
It's supposed to have the Spider-Man um, two disc widescreen special edition. What it actually came with was the Spider-Man full screen special edition. And on top of that, a bonus thing that was just thrown in here was what I thought was a Spider-Man 3 2-disc special edition widescreen presentation. But when you open it up, it is the Spider-Man 3 bonus DVD and the Spider-Man 3 special features. No Spider-Man 3 movie. So that was just a little odd that it didn't actually come with the actual widescreen version of Spider-Man. I got all the bonus discs for Spider-Man 3 and special features for Spider-Man 3 and I got the full screen basically piece of crap version of uh, Spider-Man 1. But that's an easy fix because I can always um, go back and I can find Spider-Man um, widescreen edition. I think I can probably pick it up for like two bucks or something like that. But also what came in there uh, was the Spider-Man 3 production notes books. The book of the production notes for Spider-Man 3. So this will be an interesting, this will actually be, probably be an interesting read. Uh, it's got interviews with the uh, some of the different actors in it and stuff like that. It's got um, you know biographies of different actors and stuff like that in it. So it actually came with a, like a bunch of Spider-Man 3 production materials and special features in there that's not even supposed to be in there so that's that was crazy but like as I said it does have a repro of uh, Amazing Fantasy number 15 what did I say that was right correct number 15 uh, it's actually still sealed so this has been sealed for two since 2002 so like for 13 years it also has um, signed um, lithograph of Spider-Man and it does have the uh, Cinotype film cell from Spider-Man. So that's actually that was actually really cool. It came with a lot of stuff that I wasn't expecting it to, but uh, that's actually it's actually not bad. It's pretty cool. I say I only got for eight bucks. Uh, the next one is the 300 limited collectors edition DVD set. Uh, and I think I paid, I think this was actually listed at $24.99 and it was on sale for $15 or $14.99. So that was pretty cool. Comes with a book that's got the movies in it. And uh, let me see if I can't get in closer so you can see this stuff better. It's got the movies. It's got a book with some nice artwork in it and some uh, quotes from the movie, some concept art, and uh, some pretty cool stuff. And it also got a bonus disc in it. So it's got the uh, the movie special features and the bonus disc in it. But besides the cool packaging, what else does it have? Uh, uh, it's got some uh, postcards from the movie. Uh, Ah, I can't think of what I'm saying, but uh, you know, the little postcard things from the movie is promotional material, some showing uh, different scenes from the movie and different quotes from the movie, which is pretty sweet. And I think we're back to the beginning. And those are still in excellent condition. No, no smudges, no no scratches, no marks or anything. So whoever had this, uh, they were like me. They kept this in really, really good condition. And the final thing that it has is a lenticular, um, it's going to be kind of hard to see, uh, it's a lenticular uh, 3D thing, it's like a battle scene. Oh, and, um, okay, wow, uh, this is actually broken, actually it's magnets, so uh, that's cool. Well anyway, uh, I can take the top off so you can see 
Yes, uh, this lenticular stuff is pretty cool. And I was like surprised. I was like, oh my god, this is broken. But no, it's it's just magnets. So that's actually pretty sweet. Um, so that's awesome. And so as I said, I got that for 15 bucks. And I know I'm rambling, but you know, fuck it, whatever. Uh, and I got these. I don't remember what I said, but I got these at this awesome store called uh, Zia Record Exchange. And uh, this particular one that I got in was from. Um, it was in Tempe, Arizona. It's actually an Arizona thing, so it's there's several stores within the Phoenix area, and I think there's a few in Tucson. So if you're ever in that area, look up, uh, go check out uh, Zia Record Exchange. Um, for those of you who are watching this that live in our immediate area, it's kind of comparable to a um, movie trading company, except for this is way way cooler. Um, they have a lot more stuff. They have books, they have comic books, um, huge video. Um, uh, they got video games. They got big. They got collector sets of like music, um, collector things. Like I saw the um, uh, what was that Metallica set that came out? That came in a huge box. It was like this freaking big. Um, live, sh live, uh, live shit and binge and purge or something like that. Binge and purge live shit or something like that. But it's got that whole set. Um, they got. Tons of records, lots and lots of records, like actual vinyl. Um, big mu music uh, section. They got toys, um, tons of movies, DVDs. Like I said, books, comic books. It's a really, really cool store. I can't, I can't recommend it enough. So if you're in the Phoenix area, um, go check out one of these stores.